Alright, what's up everybody? This is Michael, and this is my project. Um, this is the eggs one. Should be project three, I believe. And what you gotta do is place down a text box and give it the name text eggs, like that, right there. And make a label that says eggs. The name doesn't have to be that, it can be anything, it doesn't matter. The only time you give labels a name is when they're going to have a value placed inside of them, you know, by an input, such as a text box or a button. But uh, you'll want to put the text property to eggs. Yep. Also, you know, place another label just like this, flats and cases. Then um, this is also a label, except some of the properties have been changed. Um, and these are the ones that are actually going to have um, inputs. And um, you're going to want to name this one Label Flats, spelt just like that. Then you're going to want to go to Auto Size and make sure it's on False. And then you can just double click Border Style. It's not going to be fixed single by uh, default. But if you do, if you double click it, it will make it fixed style. That's what the uh, line border thing is there. And you're going to want to make this label right here and name it Label Cases. Almost done here with the uh, design view. You're going to want to make a button that says calculate and the buttons they don't need to be named anything even though he says that they should be you really don't need to name them because you don't again you're never going to call the name property of the button um, but you are going to want to change the text property to calculate and the and you know make another button that says exit and have the text property uh, exit again you do not need to name it but uh, you do want to double click it Double click the exit button and type in end. If you want to get fancy, you can also do me.close. Like so. But you don't need to do that. Next, you're going to want to double click calculate and type this stuff. Dim show eggs as short. What short does is that if um when it does this dividing, if it uh, ends up being a decimal, it's going to shorten it down to, I believe, um, the hundredths category. Either the tens or the hundredths, I can't remember. And um, these are your three variables that you're going to be using show eggs, show flats, show cases. Show eggs is going to take the value from the text box, this one right here. Okay? It's going to say, whatever you type in there, it's going to set show eggs to that value. Show flats is going to be um, equal to whatever you typed in that box divided by 30. Now show cases is going to equal, this is where you're probably going to mess up at first. Um, it's a little simple mistake, but you don't put show eggs here, you put show flats. Because as it says in the directions, there's 30 eggs to one flat, that's what this is. Okay? And then it says um, 6 flats to one case. So that's why you divide by six of the flats, not of the eggs. Then you go to and uh, type in this, the label flats, so it's setting this label right here equal to this variable. And the two string just, it's something for text boxes. Um, yeah, it's not necessary, you can just do show flats, it'll be perfectly fine. And then label cases dot text equals show cases dot two string. That's what this label is going to hold. So if you press F5, that's the shortcut for uh, building your program. It will build it, and then you got your program here. And you put in a thousand like you were supposed to, just to see if it works. Should come out to 33 and 6. Again, this is where the des the, the short comes in. Um, okay, maybe it just gets rid of the thing indefinitely. I don't know. I guess. There is no decimals, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so short, just disregard what I said before. Short actually gets rid of the decimals and just makes it a whole value. It must uh, round it, either floor or ceiling. We'll get into that later, though. But uh, I hope this helps you guys. Um, also, I guess I'm not sure if this is part of it, but uh, I was going off of what was on the website. Um, just make a label that has your name. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 2 o'clock p.m., and then click on Form. Just click anywhere in this gray area, and go to Text, and type in 
I don't know, I did flaccid cases because that's generally what this thing's about. Whatever. Yeah. Anything you want to put there, I guess, should be fine. And then you save it. And you, uh. You have to build it before you send it to them. But you would build it. And then you would go to. Documents. And if you didn't specify a folder before, it'd be in your uh, documents, Visual Studio 2010, projects, and then, uh, mine's not here, mine's actually in my uh, 130 class right here, that's mine. So, yeah, I've already done some other stuff here, some more experimenting, yeah. Alright, well, there you go, hope that uh, helps you guys out.